how to see the top clicked and top purchased products for a keyword using Amazon brand analytics data. So Amazon brand analytics is something that Amazon released about two, three years ago, really helpful. It is a data point that tells you for any keyword, what were the top three products that were clicked? And then from those top three click products, what was the percentage of their click share? And what was their percentage of their conversion or purchase share? Uh, for any keyword that comes up in Cerebro, you can actually see that number. Now, why is this important? How can this uh, metric make help you make money? Well, it's, you know, all keywords are not created equal. All right. There are some keywords that result in a lot of clicks and a lot of purchases. There are some keywords that don't have a lot of uh, purchases. There are some keywords where maybe the top three products that are clicked, they're dominating the clicks, they're dominating the purchases. There are other keywords when you add up the top three products that are clicked that they might not have a big percentage of the overall clicks and conversions for a keyword. And that could give you information to let you know, hey, that that market might be a little bit more wide open. There's a lot of ways to look into this data and get uh, uh, ahead of the game. Like you might want to focus on a keyword where you see a couple of really bad listings that are just dominating the sales and you know that you can take over, that might be a more attractive keyword to focus on as opposed to something else. So how do you do that? Let's go ahead and hop into it. Uh, in your Cerebro results, you'll notice one of the columns, there's two columns, it'll say ABA, which stands for Amazon Brand Analytics, total click share and ABA conversion share. Now, right next to that, you're gonna see a little graph button. So like, for example, I can see coffin shelf and it says ABA total click share 30.5%. What that means is the top three click products over the last month for or over the last week for that keyword resulted in 30.5% of the overall clicks. It says ABA total conversion share 15% for that same thing. Now that right there just tells you something that, you know, because theoretically speaking, if the conversion rates were all created equal, if three products got 30% of the clicks, they should get 30% of the sales, right? if all things were created equal. But this means that of the top three click products, a lot of people are clicking out of it. And that means 85% of the sales that come from these keywords are not even from the top three clicks. So that right there might give you some, some strategy that you can look at. Um, you can actually filter uh, in the Cerebro results for the, this top three total click share and top three total conversion share. Another thing you can do is click on the graph. Like if I click on this graph that is right next to ABA total click share, another graph comes up and you're gonna wanna put your mouse over the different months or the different weeks. I can actually change the uh, date settings to say, hey, I wanna look at this data uh, on a weekly basis and let maybe I'm just gonna look uh, from October 1st all the way to October 28th. And now week by week, I put my mouse over this graph and then here at the bottom, I can see which ones are the top three click. Like for example, for this week, October 22nd to October 28th, I can see that my product had 9% of the clicks. It was number three and it had 11% of the conversions. So that's pretty good. Look at this. There was one other product on here that had uh, 13% of the clicks, but only 3% of the conversion. So their conversion rate was not very good. So again, a lot of great data that you can see in here. This comes directly from Amazon. This is not some estimate from Helium 10 or some algorithm. This is directly from Amazon. So use this data in order to get some additional insights into what's going on uh, on certain keywords. <laughs>